guys happy friday so if you hear any music in the background it's because i live in new york like i've said many times and there's just noise everywhere like i can't avoid it i live in an apartment building and there's surrounding buildings and people just do whatever the hell they want at whatever time today is a haul and i'm not it's not like any specific store that I went to and just went crazy at. It's a whole bunch of little things that I have and I'll tell you some backstories to them. So let's get started. All right, so I went to Bath and Body Works because I have a plug-in and or wallflower as they call them and I got some refills. Now I got these when they were on sale about like two weeks ago and I just was not feeling the sense that I got. And excuse my sure i'm just like home chilling anyways i got a scent called honeysuckle and it just smelled too perfumey i like wanted to vomit i don't know like why i thought that would be a good idea i took it out and then i'm like all right i'll plug in warm vanilla sugar i take that out of the package and it stinks i don't know like those candles don't they don't really smell how the plug-in smell. It, it sucks because you kind of just got to go home, plug it in, and see if you like it. And sometimes you're just not going to like it. These are the scents that I got. Well, I don't have one of them right here, but I got the Winter Rose that just came out. And the candle smells phenomenal, but something about the plug-in is rubbing me the wrong way. Like, I like it, but I don't know why, and maybe I'm going crazy. I feel like it smells a little bit like chocolate something about it do you do you get that from the plug-in like chocolatey i actually smell nothing okay he smells nothing but i smell rose and chocolates anyway um i got a lavender vanilla plug-in i got peach bellini I love peach bellini i bought the candle numerous times over the past i don't know how many years i love it i love it i love it and i got snowflakes and citrus and let me see how they describe it frozen lemon peel fresh squeezed tangerine sugared snow crystals so whatever sugared snow crystals smell like that's what that smells like so <laughs> It's nice. I like it. It smells fresh. Okay. And then we, okay, me and my friend Nicole, which you will kind of hear her slash see her in my previous video where we went to Aldi's. So we went to Queen Center Mall and they have a NYX store. I just bought two things, but I have other things in here from the drugstore. But I just picked up two things from NYX. The first thing that I got is the NYX Wonder Pencil. It's pretty much a pencil that you could put in your inner, um, in the inner rim of your eye. But what I'm gonna use it for is to highlight my brow bone. Because sometimes you just need something that's really pointy to just get right under it and it's not gonna mess up your eyeshadow or whatever you have going on. And this is really perfect for it, so I'm excited to use this. And then I got their Ombre Blush. And my only issue with this is the packaging. So I'll show you why. Not an issue, but you know, I'm being, I'm being ridiculous because there's really nothing wrong with it, but. I, I don't know like I'm not loving the packaging I feel like it just looks cheap and I know that it's okay it's a $10 blush whatever but it says on the packaging what it is like NYX ombre and then it's in another language fard ombre I I don't know I just I think that's kind of corny they could have just left it as NYX and then put this in the back so I don't know this is in number four, Mauve. And this is what it looks like. Oh my God. I have to be careful because I have nails, so. That's what it looks like. I really wouldn't even call this ombre only because it clearly just goes from one color to another color. It doesn't fade. 
And those are the two things that I got from NYX. And then I went to Rite Aid and I got some makeup that I couldn't pass up because the packaging is just like, the packaging gets me all the time with these brands. And they know what they're doing when they design these things. Like, they know. So I got this from Physicians Formula. Who doesn't want gold sparkly packaging? I mean, I wish everything came like that. So they had this one and like three or four other ones that were really nice. But I like the colors in these and I think it would make, oh, 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 like that. Okay. So it's like that. Neat. And then it opens up. I thought it was going to open this way, but it opens that way. Like most of their things, I should have known. Actually, no, I shouldn't have known because the way that the words are, you would think it would open up that way, right? No, but it doesn't. Okay. Okay, and then I got this mascara from Maybelline. It's in Black is Black, the Falsies Push-Up Drama. And then I got another mascara. I like to buy two mascaras only because um, sometimes I want like more of a dramatic effect one day and then the other day I want like something basic. So I was recommended this one. This is the Lash <clears throat> Sensational. Okay, and then the last two makeup items I got are also from Maybelline and they're the Master Prime primers basically. And this one is in... Oh, there's no actual name. It just says Prime and Illuminate, and this one's Prime and Matte. Now let's move on to clothes. So I got two pairs of jeans and a pair of boots. Now, a little backstory. I bought two pairs of Levi's from Macy's, and I bought a pair, not a pair, but like a, a Spanx bodysuit thing. And... It worked like it looked really nice worked fine and then once I put on the jeans without the bodysuit they didn't fit because my gut is just too freaking big so I had to exchange them and then I exchanged the jeans and then they were too big like in the crotch area like you know when you have all that fabric that you could just pull from the crotches like you could fit another crotch in your pants it was like that so I was annoyed because there was no in between for me nothing was working so i returned them and i got these pants and they're another brand called material girl that i've heard of but i've never bought anything from theirs and i'm loving them because they're stretch and it is the exact 280 same material as the levi's same thing cheaper and you're able to use a coupon because if you know, Macy's sometimes doesn't let you use coupons on certain brands and Levi's is one of them. So I was able to get these. They were on sale for $24.99 and I was able to use a coupon and I have my Macy's credit card, which I think gives me like 20% off. So I paid close to nothing for them. This is called, let's see. Actually, these are not the Material Girl. So sorry, the shirts were Material Girl. Okay, backtrack. These are called Celebrity Pink. So sorry. These are Celebrity Pink, and it is the skinny... It says skinny shorts inseam pull me infinite stretch. There you go. Celebrity Pink. That is the brand from Macy's. And they're super stretchy, which if you are anything like me and you have a gut, you know, you need stretch. Okay. Um, it's the next best thing to uh, spandex pants, spandex stretchies, like I call them. Okay. And I'm really short, so I had to get a short because my legs are like boop. And I got them in this color. I really, really, really love them. And I'm so excited that I'm able to get the exact same jeans. I cannot stress enough. If you switched out the tags with these and Levi's, you would not even know 
the difference like it's the same thing and I am a size three in these they run I want to say they run true to size but the waist is a little bit wider so I feel like they do cater to real women who have some curves and you know a little belly um if you can see like the top it stretches a lot the whole like everything on it stretches a lot but you know some pants that are stretch or skinny the the this here like the seams on the top they're very stiff and they don't go anywhere but these actually really they're good so i got two pairs of those and then i got a pair of bear paw okay these were a gift to me from my cousin so she decided that she loves me so much and I'm such a great, amazing cousin, and she can't live without me. I'm just kidding. She decided that she wanted to do something nice for me, and she called me a good egg, and she surprised me with a pair of boots. So all I had to do was pick them up from Sears because she ordered them online. And these are it. Ooh, so cute, right? Now, ladies. I have a pair of Uggs. I buy Uggs every year. I would argue this year, even though I love my Uggs, I would argue that they're not worth the money. Only because, I mean, like, they're not going to last you for very long. And I feel like... Okay. <sighs> These are the Uggs that I have this year. Okay? Okay. I love them. They're comfortable to an extent. Um, they're not made for walking, you know, for a long time in them, but they are comfortable. They're warm, but they're $180. And I feel like that is just so expensive for a pair of boots that are not going to last that long. They're not waterproof and you're just, you're not going to get that much out of them. And, you know, because they're, what is it like, I don't know, sheepskin or something. It just like wears down after a while. So bear, paw, bear paws are like, I don't know, a quarter of the price of Uggs. And they're so cute and comfortable. They're warm too. I love them. I really wore them. And I, I really recommend you give them a try. I know a lot of girls are like, oh my God, they're fake Uggs. But they're not fake Uggs. They're just bear paw. Like they, they are their own brand. So I say give them a try. They have different styles. And I believe they're coming out with a waterproof boot. My cousin mentioned something like that to me. So I'm going to check those out this coming like winter basically. So next time I go shopping, if they have them, I'll see what they're about and if they're worth the money. Also, remember, you can buy those in different stores. So look for deals online. Also, they do sell them in Macy's and you can use your coupons on them. So just bear that in mind when you're shopping for them. So that's my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed everything. Any questions, comments, or concerns, just leave them below. See you later. Bye.